Getting it into one hour. Hey, there's one into like an hour long episode, so. Just kind of go around, explore. Hey, it's this dude. What's his name? Samuel. It's hey been a Samuel. while since I played this, so. Oh, hello, young Max. He is I do an love you interesting anymore. person. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. Mm. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. See you I later, so Samuel. don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Yeah. She w seriously runs like she's got an off-looking jump rope. Rachel owes the money. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't care. I'm gonna be nice to you anyway. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment. So talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. That's Kate funny. is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. <laughs> yes. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Mm, go back in time. And Hi, let's talk about Hi, her. Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm mm -hmm. glad we did. Yay, there we go. See? Time travel. It's great. Frick, man. It's Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You know, first, I hope you're the last. Consider this uh, final. Why do? How do people get my number? I don't understand. Am I like giving it out or something? I don't really understand that. But whatever. Rachel Warren will we? Uh, yeah. So can people stop Max, looking at my number and stuff? Out. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. He sounds like a freaking 13-year-old. By the way, thank you or for stepping in. 12, you were pretty 11, 12-year-old. Warren, I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a <laughs> real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which yeah. begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking mm. of dystopia, <laughs> that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go mm. ape! Sure. Yes, uh. that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool. I'll text you the info. I like Warren. He's a pretty cool dude, so that's one of the main reasons why I said yes to the movie. There's no point in just being rude to him, you know? Oh, oh, okay, there he goes. Kinda laggy. Uh ha! -huh. Nathan's getting what he deserves. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Who's that or girl on the stairs? 
I don't think it's either. I think he's talking about the stuff that's been going on. Look at those two. I know what this bus is for. And that dude looks like a stu oh, different dude. Okay. He's like blocking the bus driver. I'm like, that dude does not look like a driver. He looks more like a student. And I was right, he is a student. Get that music back in. Let's roll. Driving along to go see Chloe. <laughs> Don't fall asleep. Never fall asleep on the bus. Uh, I think I saw Dana with uh, Zach. At least it looked like Dana, so I just kind of assumed it was Zach. In the bus, I mean. Weird. I like these kind of games. It's a much easier change of pace than shooters. You know, you just... I don't know, I'm really bad at shooters. And I just kind of like how chill this game is. I'm gonna leave you to explore wherever. I would not let it go to a school like Blackwell. I am not artsy enough. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Millionaire? My Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hmm. Let's talk to this dude. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Hmm. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Cool. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. That sucks. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. Mm. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Mm. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. They just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Her voice just sounds so happy. Running late, grab a booth at the diner. <laughs> She's getting mad at me for being like saying I'm gonna be late. She's not even here yet. Oh my gosh! Hey, it's the RV. What's this thing doing here? There's that dirty RV from the other day. Hey, dog. Uh, stop that! Stop! No barking. <laughs> okay. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. <laughs> Sounds like the starting of Spongebob, the seagulls. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Not me! <laughs> that smell of breakfast and the sound mm. of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. I can't even smell it, but I know it smells good. Justin and who? Trevor. Hey, Trevor. Ah! Hello, Max. By the way, Dana's. I know you saw me in the dorm. I did? Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and why are there her I hands blurry? Tell Justin, because well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Mm -hmm. 
Is it that Justin? What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Mm. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later. Wow, uh, that's a good dude right there. He's like, he snooze, he lose, and he understands that. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mm. mourn over my eggs. Okay, then. Good talking to you. Weird lady. Nah. Dude. <laughs> just. Dude. Just kind of want to look around and stuff. Oh, what? Boy, Angro. Men and women. Dang. Kate Marsh. Love you long time. <laughs> Flush before kissing on floor. Rachel Amber owes me a BJ. Mmm. So does your mom. I bet Chloe wrote that one on there. Gross. Or the so does your mom part. Fire walk with me. Go ahead and take a picture. And an interesting picture. Uh cool dough though. Compressed. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down. Is her name Julie? And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> no I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It's very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. Well, we know I, I will do be. It, but... Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Bad. Now my folks are in <laughs> this is funny how she said I'm that. all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. Hmm. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Yep. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Do, do, do. Chloe has changed. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. It's his fault. I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. Good for him, but... He does but... care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Uh, I'm just gonna say I get it. There's no reason to bring her into I know Chloe Black still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. 
I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelet, Belgian waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Is Max 18 or 21, or maybe past 21 or 19, but I don't know. I wonder. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Fourth dimensional deja vu? What's that dude doing? Oh, Can I get some song. beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? This is like fourth dimensional I'm sure you that. Order ready. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. True. I wonder if they went up or down. Nerd graffiti. <laughs> Warren must have no been here. Beer? What, what kind of dive is this? The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. Yeah. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Here, you'll love this. You'll love this. Oh wow, that was an echo. I'm truly weird like though. A baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Oh, wow. I did not realize she was going to say that. Mom and Max, so. together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom. Please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. Ah, she's 18. Woman. There we go. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> Sergeant Pepper. If you don't want to be lectured. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You only get one it. damn slice of bacon a day. Sergeant Pepper. I love it. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. Mm. What is Joyce this shit on the jukebox? Though. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, wow, Max ate a lot of her dream. waffle, all right, waffle already. Fine. This is all happening so fast. We'll start right. slow. I can do it. Right here, now. What do you got in your pocket? I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Well, I need you to Let get out of your pockets first. Okay, Max. Impress me. Keys, chewing gum. I gotta go, I don't know, first. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That Keys. was beyond epic fail. You're I didn't get to see it. Believe you. I didn't get to see it before I can rewind time. Look. Okay, Max. Study Keys. every item carefully Cigarettes. and don't forget anything. Uh, it's quarter of 75. 85, 95, 5. So we got 91 cents. Parking tickets, you got this, Max. cigarettes, now and rewind keys. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Ow. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Okay. Right. I'm pretty sure. Yes, you know. Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Okay, I'll do the money again. Clue. 86 cents. 86. That's right. So that. Parking ticket. A parking ticket. 
1034. Ten thirty four. Booyah. Even a broke keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. How does she know if she just had to look at it? Balls. I literally <laughs> just got chills all over my neck. You already showed me. You have powers. Heck yeah, dude. It's pretty Take sick. that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Delicious. Very good save. Man, I'm she hungry a like save. a wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. All right. Well, it's got to happen first. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. All right. Joyce waves. Oops. Did drops you the coffee. break another cup? Or really? if that dude drops no the coffee. No refill yeah. for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my Cops. partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing What's it. What's the deal? Weird girl goes to the bathroom. And Joyce waves at them. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Daisy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? I was just waiting. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. No, Trevor drop no, cop drop no, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Cop radios and he leaves. He's done it. His partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Uh, Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce boots. Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Jukebox goes crazy. Cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. Okay. Ah, there we go. Now she's watching it like it's a cutscene almost. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait. Really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor mm -hmm. and Justin must be in love. <laughs> you predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. Yeah. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. <laughs> you did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. <laughs> Alright. Sorry. I messed up two times on both of her little tests. Hold on, I want to talk to them again. Let's talk later when I'm not so hot. Oh, okay. Never okay, mind then. Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and pull through. 
Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day. Nah, I'm answering the call. I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Answer. Sorry, but. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I can't hear what she's saying. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. Sorry, but I'm worried about Kate, man. Especially because I know some things that she does in the future. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I don't care. But they've had plenty of arguments. That dude.